Okay, uh, all that processing that was going on caused my uh, screen recorder to stop. So anyway, okay, so I brought in the eight foot window and I want to edit it and we'll just go, go ahead and make a duplicate. And of course, you know, if you're doing this at work, um, you're just not going to duplicate and keep the same model number and all the background detail information and stuff. You're, you're going to get it right. Okay. Um, wow. Come on. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to make this one a six foot wide. And so I'm going to come in here and go from eight foot to six foot. And the height is fine. I'm going to keep the height as, you know, what what we had there, the four foot four seven sixteenths. Um, the one thing I need to I need to look at the grills here after we kind of place them because we may want to come back and edit on the grill information. So we'll go okay. Man, it's running slow. Okay. So I place them. And you can see one is one way, one is the other way. I think this one needs to go to the outside. So let's go to our 3D view. And let's zoom down in on them here and look. Um, yeah. Yeah. This one is facing inside, so I need to flip it. Okay. And then you'll... Uh, da, da, da. Okay, and you say, well, how did you know that that was facing, you know, inside, outside? If you think about your windows at home, you have a, a sill on the outside that runs out and the water can run off. If you have double hung windows, the, the bottom sash is always on the inside of the wall. The upper sash is on the outside of the wall so that water running down the upper sash doesn't run in between it and the, the lower sash. And then we could go to the inside and look and you see there's no trim on the inside. It's just the window itself, okay? All right. Okay. So now I'm going to... Uh, let me go back to my floor plan, and I'll place a uh, uh, wrong floor plan. And let's put some double hunks here in the back. Where's my window sketch? Got a window A and a window C. Okay, so I'll bring those in. So let me load um, my double hunks that I downloaded. Double hung one unit wide. And you can go through and check off all the ones that, well, we only need two of them. We need the uh, three foot one and a half. By five, three foot one and a half by that one. And then we need a three foot one and a half by three. Oh. Okay, so I need those two windows based on the window schedule that I gave you. Mm -hmm. 
if you notice uh, from working with things, the windows have a default sill height. And it changes the head height of the window. And <clears throat> we, we can just leave the defaults there. I mean, you can edit it in the, the family if you want to. Okay, so this is my C-type window here. So it gets one of those right there. And now I want to go to my A type and go ahead. Come on, come on, come on. And put one there. Okay, so let's look at these. Um, the default still has on that one was three feet. Same on that one, but see, one's a five-foot window, one's a three-foot window. So let's go to our elevation view. Okay, and so this is not going to work, is it? So let's go to fine detail. Uh, do we need to go shaded? I don't think we need to go shaded, but let's look at it. Okay. Now, uh, realistically... It doesn't always happen that way, but the top of a window trim should be equal to the top of the door trim. So we're going to go with align, top edge, and top edge, lock it. Make sure I got the window there. Okay. And now you can look at, the, we've got those lined up so with the top, and we can look at them individually and see what the head height is and the sill height, okay? So if you've already placed your all your windows, you can get these two lined up, um, and then you can go to your 3D view, and you can click this, and you can select all instances of it and make them the same sill height, okay, and the same head height, okay? It's, it's the head height all the way around. Now then, uh, I was going to show you this on the walls. When you go to your 3D view, you can check and make sure all your walls are the right height. And you want to make sure that these exterior walls, that the exterior is on the exterior. Okay, and in this case, it's just kind of a beige. Okay, if that bothers you and you want to see uh, actual lapboard siding, let's go in and edit our wall type. Edit the structure, go to our finish. I want to edit the material on that. We'll go to graphics. And right here, surface pattern. Let's change that. We'll go to model with a six inch parallel. And if this slows your computer down, Okay, and render and moving in 3D because every time it changes, it's going to, you know, regenerate those lines. But that, that helps you visualize it a little bit better. Okay, uh, so you're going to get the rest of your windows uh, put in place. Yeah, I think those are okay. Let me see what I've got on my other. Uh... Yeah, I don't think I changed. Did I change that? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I changed the grill pattern on the inside here. Number of vertical lights, flanker 2424. With the window, we'll change that to four. Da, 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 da. Slow, man, slow. I guess I shouldn't have two models open at the same time, huh? And tried to do screen recording. 